aided by Russian tech, China's Type 96 ballistic missile submarine nears completion, threatening to outpace even the most advanced sub-hunting capabilities. Stealthier and more elusive, these vessels have set defense circles buzzing, their quiet prowess raising alarms. Japan's Kawasaki Aerospace Company has responded with the Kawasaki P-1 and is gaining attention among military enthusiasts. This maritime patrol aircraft sets out to counter advanced submarine threats. To hunt its stealthy quarry, it uses a superior acoustic system and advanced sonobuoy deployment capability. Its unique four-jet configuration ensures an easy, agile chase. Once an objective is acquired with its cutting-edge radar systems, the attack begins with a potent arsenal of torpedoes, anti-ship missiles, and mines. But it's the groundbreaking integration of unparalleled avionics, including the world's inaugural fly-by optics control and state-of-the-art AI systems that set it apart. The Kawasaki P-1 aims to reshape anti-submarine warfare strategies, essential for Japan's hope to maintain regional stability as the threat of Chinese submarine technology grows. In the vast stretches of the Pacific Ocean, where maritime security stands as a crucial bulwark, the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force, or JMSDF, has played the role of steadfast sentinel for decades. For many years, the Lockheed P-3 Orion served as their reliable sidekick, a true workhorse of the seas. Between the American-built P-3C maritime patrol aircraft and the Kawasaki license-produced P-3J variants, the JMSDF operated a fleet of these venerable machines, which served their purpose admirably. However, as years passed, the P-3 Orion's age began to show. Recognizing the shifting tides of technology and defense requirements, the JMSDF knew a new chapter in maritime patrol aviation was awaiting. Surveying the evolving landscape, the Japanese Defense Agency charted a new course, laying out their vision in the five-year defense plan. In a pivotal move in 2001, they designated the Kawasaki Aerospace Company as a prime contractor for a new initiative. Dubbed the PX program, this was a daring venture to break the state-of-the-art maritime patrol aircraft. The PX wasn't merely about replacing an older model. It symbolized a resurgence of Japanese innovation. This move was all the more audacious, considering it had been almost three decades since Japan's previous large-scale domestic aircraft development. From this visionary blueprint arose the Kawasaki P-1, formerly the PX and XP-1. Unlike many of its peers, which were adaptations of civilian blueprints, the P-1 was unique. Crafted specifically for the demanding realm of maritime patrol, the P-1 was engineered with intent and purpose from the drawing board. The PX project, soon rebranded as the P-1, emerged from a pressing need for maritime patrol excellence. Intriguingly, its fate was deeply intertwined with the Kawasaki C-2, a dual-engine cargo aircraft set to succeed the older Kawasaki C-1 and C-130H Hercules cargo planes. In their inception, the PX and CX blueprints traveled on distinct paths, yet in a groundbreaking move, it was decided to weave these projects together by sharing components. Such synergy was a pragmatic strategy to enhance efficiency and curtail developmental expenses. Guided by the Japanese Defense Agency, both aircraft were engineered to have identical body parts, such as the cockpit windows, outer wings, and horizontal stabilizers. Moreover, they shared internal components like the auxiliary power unit, cockpit panel, and flight control system computer. This harmonious interplay between the PX and CX wasn't just innovative, it represented a significant cost-saving initiative. Powering the PX was a homegrown turbofan engine, the IHI Corporation F7. Custom crafted for the PX program's singular needs, this engine stood out. By April 2004, after successful evaluations of five XF7 prototypes, it became evident that the F7 engine was unparalleled for the PX, signifying its prowess. Equipped with Full Authority Digital Engine Control, or FADEC, the F7 wasn't just any engine. With a bypass ratio surpassing even worthy competitors like the General Electric CF348E, the F7 was geared to elevate the PX, both metaphorically and in the skies. April 2004 also marked a critical juncture in discussions between Japan and the US. At the heart of these deliberations was a pivotal choice. Collaborate with the US Navy's Multi-Mission Maritime Aircraft, or MMA program, or navigate the PX project's journey solo. After considering multiple avenues, including integrating MMA technology or even shelving the PX, the Japanese Defense Ministry stood firm. They persisted with the PX program, underscoring their faith in local expertise and the drive to create an aircraft 
tailored to Japan's precise maritime needs. Beyond the P-1, Japan delved into research on ship-based UAVs to bolster maritime aviation, underscoring its progressive stance on defending its waters. At the heart of the Kawasaki P-1 are its four meticulously engineered turbofans, birthed by the Japanese IHI Corporation. Each engine exudes a thrust of 60 kilonewtons, providing ample power to propel the aircraft through its diverse missions. Distinctly unique, its four IHI F-710 turbofan engines are situated under its low-set wings, forming a rare four-engine low-wing loading configuration. This design lends the aircraft remarkable stability and maneuverability, especially during low-speed, low-altitude flights. Moreover, this configuration guarantees that even if one engine were to fail, the P-1 would continue its mission seamlessly. Its high-bypass engines offer the dual advantage of silent operation, essential for maritime surveillance and fuel efficiency. In a race against its turboprop-powered counterparts, the P-1 has the upper hand with its turbofans, affording it shorter transit times. These engines also gift it with an added layer of stealth, making it a considerable challenge for submarines to detect acoustically. Beyond its design, the Kawasaki P-1 emerges as a versatile force in maritime patrol. It's adept at long-range surveillance and reconnaissance over varied terrains, both terrestrial and aquatic. The aircraft shines in anti-shipping roles, submarine engagement, intelligence gathering, and search and rescue missions. Drawing a parallel, its capabilities align closely with the American Boeing P-8 Poseidon. When it comes to weaponry, the P-1 is no slouch. It boasts eight external hardpoints and eight internal bomb base stations, which accommodate a wide array of munitions, ranging from the U.S. AGM-84 Harpoon and Japanese ASM-1C anti-ship missiles to the AGM-65 Maverick missiles, suited for both terrestrial and maritime targets. The aircraft's ability to bear various torpedoes further cements its role as a versatile player in maritime operations. At the core of the Kawasaki P-1 lies an intricate weave of state-of-the-art avionics. Every detail, from the Toshiba radar system to the Shinko electric combat system, underscores an unwavering commitment to excellence, especially in anti-submarine warfare. Transitioning to its flight control mechanism, the Kawasaki P-1 pioneers a significant departure from the norm. While many contemporaries employ conventional fly-by-wire systems, the P-1 introduces the world to the first-ever fly-by-optics control. This system, replacing metal with optical fibers, presents a revolutionary method that curtails electromagnetic interference, enhancing the aircraft's sensor capabilities. It's also bolstered by contributions from global partners, with Honeywell delivering components like the auxiliary power unit and other avionic elements. Yet what truly distinguishes the P-1 is its groundbreaking artificial intelligence system. This AI streamlines the duties of the tactical coordinator officer, resulting in a direct boost in the aircraft's overall efficiency. As a sentinel of the seas, the P-1 is unparalleled. Its arsenal includes a Toshiba HPS-106 AESA radar, boasting 240-degree coverage, and the Fujitsu HAQ-2 infrared light detection systems. Its capabilities extend with a magnetic anomaly detector, deployable sonar buoys, and sophisticated acoustic systems, each indispensable in submarine detection. Enhancing its tactical reach, an AI guides the optimal flight trajectory to engage targets. Beyond surveillance, the P-1 is a force to be reckoned with. Its spacious bomb bay rivals that of the Hawker Siddeley Nimrod. With eight external wing hardpoints, it's primed to deploy torpedoes, mines, depth charges, and a spectrum of missiles and bombs. Orchestrating this noteworthy arsenal is the Smith Aerospace-built Storage Management System, featuring a versatile control unit designed for both present and future munitions. Additionally, the P-1 boasts a countermeasure suite and radar warning receivers to deflect missile threats. In monetary terms, the Kawasaki P-1, priced between $140.8 and $167 million, is an investment in superiority. For context, its counterpart, the Lockheed P-3 Orion, comes at a more modest estimate of around $36 million. In 2007, Japan marked a pivotal moment in its military aviation history. On August 31st, the Japanese Ministry of Defense signaled its forward-looking vision by unveiling plans to acquire four advanced aircraft designed to redefine maritime patrol and surveillance. The allocation for this ambitious undertaking was a whopping $641.18 million for 2008. Fast forward to 2013, 
and the Ministry's commitment to this initiative became evident. They procured two more P-1s. These successors to the P-3C patrol aircraft promised enhanced detection, superior flight performance, advanced information processing, and notable strike capabilities, marking a leap for Japan's maritime defenses. The genesis of this transformative journey was in June 2007, when Kawasaki Heavy Industries introduced the XP-1 prototype under the PX program. However, the path to innovation was not smooth. The program faced a delay due to defective rivets, necessitating repairs to uphold the aircraft's integrity. However, by September 28th, the XP-1 took to the skies from Gifu Airfield for its inaugural flight. And by March 2010, Kawasaki delivered four test aircraft to the Ministry. Yet challenges persisted. In 2011, defects appeared in two ground test aircraft, requiring structural modifications. Nevertheless, Japan's dedication to excellence ensured that these issues were promptly addressed. On March 26, 2013, the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force proudly received its first pair of P-1s. But soon after, in May, one of the aircraft faced technical difficulties mid-flight, briefly grounding the fleet. Despite these hurdles, the P-1 shone brightly. Soon, the aging Orion fleet made way for the P-1 within the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. The P-1, a symbol of Japan's advanced aeronautics, has piqued international interest. As of 2023, 33 Kawasaki P-1 aircraft are actively serving, with approximately 60 more commissioned. Notably, the British Royal Air Force is exploring the possibility of integrating the P-1 into their fleet, reflecting the aircraft's unparalleled capabilities in maritime patrol and surveillance. In 2014, Japan stepped onto the global stage, offering its P-1 maritime patrol aircraft for export. They presented New Zealand with an integrated package, setting the P-1 alongside Boeing's P-8 Poseidon. But in the end, New Zealand opted for the P-8. The Japanese had their reasons for advocating the P-1. Touted for its superior range and dedicated maritime design, Japan doubled down on its commitment in 2015 by commissioning 20 P-1s, seeking cost-effectiveness. That same year, the P-1 made its European debut at the UK's Royal International Air Tattoo and underwent rigorous operational trials in Djibouti. The following year, the P-1 showcased its versatility by aiding in assessing earthquake damage in New Zealand, and its spotlight of the 2017 Paris Air Show was a clear statement of Japan's aerospace ambitions on the global map. Nevertheless, Kawasaki Heavy Industries is already looking ahead. Their sights are set on creating a cutting-edge future fixed-wing patrol aircraft to succeed the existing P-1 used by the JMSDF. With the project kicking off in April 2023, this futuristic marvel is anticipated to be operational by the 2040s, under the aegis of the Japan Ministry of Defense and the JMSDF. However, the design of this next-generation aircraft remains nebulous. While KHI awaits direction from the MOD for this endeavor, the Defense Ministry remains tight-lipped about specific plans. Reflecting on the present, the P-1 is a cornerstone of JMSDF's maritime toolkit, equipped for airborne patrol, anti-ship, and anti-submarine warfare. It's laden with cutting-edge systems, and from anti-ship missiles to depth charges, the P-1's arsenal is extensive. As whispers about the future of fixed-wing patrol aircraft circulate, the MOD has hinted at potential inclusions like long-range missiles and advanced AI. These are just the tip of the iceberg for this ambitious undertaking. Kawasaki Heavy Industries stands at the forefront of maritime defense innovation in Japan. And while the future patrol aircraft's blueprint remains a mystery, it carries the hopes of propelling the JMSDF's prowess into uncharted territories. <laughs>